Welcome to Electro Online. Our next problem involves a disc, a disc that has a moment of inertia of 2 kg meters squared and a radius of 2 meters. We now apply a constant force on a string which is wrapped around the disc, and so the disc is going to experience an angular acceleration. What do we need to calculate? Well, first of all, we need to find the angular acceleration, and then secondly, we need to show that if we pull down a distance of 20 meters, the work done to accelerate or to rotate the disc should be equal to the kinetic energy gained by the disc, and we're going to show that for part B. On the next video, we're going to do the same thing, but instead of applying a constant force of 10 newtons, we're going to hang an object on the string with a weight of 10 newtons and see if we get the same result or a different result, but that's on the next video. So here, let's start with the first part. Let's find the angular acceleration. So to find the ang angular acceleration, we're going to use the rotational equivalent of F equals ma, which means we're going to find torque is equal to I times alpha, which means that alpha, the angular acceleration, equals the applied torque divided by the moment of inertia. So the applied torque is force times perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the point of rotation. So this here would be the perpendicular distance and the force would be the 10, uh, the 10 newtons. And so we divide that by the moment of inertia. So in this case, the force is 10 newtons. The distance would be two meters and the, angle, the moment of inertia is two kilogram meters per second squared. So that would be equal, well, moment of inertia, kilogram meters squared, I should say. The two scan slot. And we end up with the angular acceleration of 10 radians per second squared. So that's our first answer. Now we're ready to answer the second question, part B. Show that the work done is equal to the kinetic energy. Well, the work done, work done, is equal to force times distance. And so we have a force of 10 newtons applied uh, for a distance of 20 meters. So this is going to be, of course, times the cosine of the angle between them. But of course, it's the same direction. The applied force is in the same direction as the displacement. So we can say that we have a force of 10 newtons and a displacement of 20 meters, which is equal to 200 newton meters, which is equal to 200 joules. So now we want to see if the kinetic energy gained by that wheel is the same 200 joules. So how do we find that? Well, we probably want to use the following. We know that the kinetic energy, the rotational kinetic energy is equal to one half I omega squared. To get the omega, well, let's see here. We need to use an equation of kinematics. We can use the following. We can say that omega squared equals omega initial squared plus two times the angle acceleration times the displacement in radians, delta theta. So to find that, well, we need to find delta theta here because no, this is equal to zero. So to find delta theta, we can say that um, the distance is equal to r times theta, or theta is equal to distance divided by r. The distance is 20 meters, and the radius is equal to 2 meters. So that would be equal to 10 radians. So when we've pulled down the distance of 20 meters, we know that we've got an angular displacement of 10 radians. And so then plugging that in here, we know that omega squared is equal to zero plus two times the angular acceleration, which is 10, that's from part A, and the delta theta would be 10 radians. So we know that omega squared is equal to, that's 20, that's 200, and well, that's all we need to know in here. So let's go ahead and plug that in here. So the kinetic energy is equal to one half times the moment of inertia, which was two, and the omega squared, which is 200. Of course, that would be in joules. And kinetic energy, if we simplify that, that cancels out. Indeed, we get 200 joules as well, which means that the work done to pull the string down 20 meters, which requires 200 joules of work, is the same as the kinetic energy gained of the wheel when it reaches its final omega when the force has been pulled down 10 newtons. So you can see that clearly work put in equals kinetic energy gained. And that is how it's done.